Hello everyone, this is going to be a love reading for single Capricorns uh, for the month of January 2021. So let's see, single Capricorns, who's coming towards single Capricorns in the month of January 2021? Who's coming towards single Capricorns in January 2021? Okay, uh, Capricorn, I think you're going to get some messages from abroad, especially, or someone who doesn't live where you are. Um, <clears throat> I don't see you actually being with this person physically in the month of January. But if you, if you are on a dating website or, I don't know, you know someone who is at a distance and so on, uh, the communication between the two of you is uh the only connection between the two of you this month is going to be communication but i do think there is physical distance here in uh in this uh relationship or even if you are in the same location you're just not able to meet up for whatever reason covid i don't know okay i do think that most of the interaction this month is going to take place um, through communication, through means of com communication. Let's see. How does this person see Capricorn? How does this person see Capricorn in the month of January? How does this new person see Capricorn? Oh, yeah. They have hope for this connection. They certainly do. They see you as, um, you know, a, a bright star. It's the the, the star in a in a romance, uh, romantic uh, reading is a star of, uh, you know, every everything you ever wanted. It's like you were sent to me by by God, by by destiny, because this is what I dreamed of. And they dreamed of a woman like you, a woman who is um, serious, reliable, uh, stable. Um, with her feet on the ground, a, a woman who works, um, has her own money, has her own stability, you know, uh, self-reliant. And uh, that's how they see you, so very positively. Now, let's see. Um, how do you see them? How does Capricorn see the person they're going to deal with in the month of January? How do single Capricorns see this new person that's going to appear in their life oh so you are everything they ever wanted but they're not everything you ever wanted yeah you're apprehensive about this connection i think it's someone who wants to communicate with you but you're gonna be like mm. I don't know, this guy, this person isn't really the type, isn't really my type, isn't really what I want. You're going to have some, you're going to have some, find some flaws in them. And yeah, I don't see you into them, to be honest, Capricorn. Mm, if you have dealt with this person in the past or even this month, it could be something that they're going to say that's going to disappoint you and the fact that they disappoint you is going to make you even more apprehensive towards them you're gonna be like hey if you disappoint me in the beginning what expectations can i have uh, from you for the future okay let's see what are this person's intentions towards you what are this person's intentions towards a single capricorns Well, Capricorn, this person sees a lot of uh, potential for stability between the two of you, but even they know that it's unlikely to happen. Uh, it's possible that this person might even try to entice you with financial benefits, you know, a gift, money, something along those lines but even they know that you're not the kind of person who would be accepting of this 
you know, uh, they might definitely try to do it or even make you promises for a stable relationship and all of that. You can have a good future with me. You can have a good life with me. But even they know that that's not really the type of person who you are and who would fall for something like that. Let's see the outcome. What's going to happen between Capricorn and this new person by the end of the month of January? Please tell me what's going to happen between Capricorn and this new person by the end of January. Okay, so um, there's going to be a period, there might even be a period when you won't speak anymore, like a couple of days, a week or something. Afterwards, the communication is going to resume because one of you will have thought things through. Uh, it's like one of you, and I think that's you Capricorn, need some time to reflect on things. But once you do that, you're start you're going to start to see the potential in this relationship and you're going to start to see that hey you know what i could work with this person i could do things with them this could actually work out this could actually play out well so by the end of the end uh, the month after you go through this period of seeking within what it is that you want that you like you know uh, why do the things that you don't like uh, about this person upset you so much and all of that? You're going to resume communication with them. There's certainly going to be loads of communication uh, this month. And um, yeah, you're going to get your mojo back, let's say, by by the end of, uh, of uh, this month, uh, Capricorn. And I do think that um, in the end, things are going to work out well for you. Um, for the time being, I do not see any cards of romance in this reading. I'm not saying it, they can't appear next month, you know. I just see cards of major potential and good communication. So I think that that's going to be what's going to happen between the two of you. You're going to try to work on this. You're going to try, hey, you know, let's give it this a try. This might work out. This might be good. You know, if we get along so well... When we communicate, hey, there could actually be something here, okay? So that was it. That was your reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it and gave you some guidance. Um, I hope you have a good month and um, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye for now.